Shit! This wasn't a great start, was it? <laughs> Fuck that. Long time no see, huh? Well, I'm Sarah and this is This Your Experience. And I'm back, bitch. Finally back talking to you guys. It's been legit a year and a half. The last time that I sat down and talked to you directly like this about my life and what was going on was April 2021. Since a lot happened in the last few months, I thought that I wanted to make a sit down video and have an honest chat with you. So, first of all, it's not a sad video, it's nothing really happened major, like sad or anything, but I love update videos. So, you know what? You're getting one. Wow, what a year has been. It's already November, or only November. It has passed so quickly, but at the same time, it's been the longest year of my life. A lot has happened, a lot has happened, and I'm here to talk about it. Chapter one, work. So from that video, I said that I just had found a job that was an internship, and I stopped going because of coronavirus and lockdown and whatever. Well, I still have that job, I still have it, and fun fact, after a six month internship, I got hired as a maternity replacement. So I'm still there. I like it because like I said, a long time ago, I'm in contact with people. And it's not just a computer work, but it's really just selling things and moving things. I also deal with the storage and all of that. So it's also physical and I like that, but it's not gonna be forever. But we'll talk about that in a second. Chapter two, traveling. Then, as you may have seen from this channel, if you still follow me, I started traveling finally. I did so much this year and I documented it all. I went to Amsterdam for starter, then I went to Florence alone for five days, then I went to Madrid. It was for a week, I was alone, most of the part, and I also fainted. If you haven't seen it, please check it out. Then I went to Paris with my brother and somewhere else that I cannot remember, but I also went some places and I didn't really vlog it because it was just a day or two away with friends, so it wasn't worth vlogging, but yes, I did that. So all the content that you saw was pre-filmed and it took me forever to edit that. That's why there was not much content this year. Actually, there was a lot, just out of season. As you can see, I posted stuff in June when I still had the coat on and the scarf and the hat. And then now that it's cold, I posted stuff in the summer about my Madrid trip. So that was a lot. It was a lot to handle alongside work. Oh, by the way, if you are asking about my new hair, well, it's a beautiful wig that I just bought and I feel like wearing it because why not? Why not? I love it. I got it for Halloween to be a sexy, cute vampire goddess and I just love it. So I'm wearing it. Chapter three, new passions. Then I also discovered a new passion of mine, which is Formula One. I absolutely love that. And I'm sure we'll make a video about it because trust me, give it a chance because there is so much more than just racing cars and noise of the engines. Well, I'm a huge fan, I'm a huge fan. I even got a Lando Norris t-shirt and a Lando Norris sweater. But if I could, I would buy every driver's merch. Well, not every driver, but most of them. Anyways, this video is not about Formula One, so we'll talk about that some next time. Another great thing that happened is that I started going out, like clubbing, just going out with friends and meeting new people. I finally got out of my shell, got out of my comfort zone. I even went out one night alone and made new friends that I legit went out with last night. So after this whole month, we're still friends, so that was really great. It really made me grow. And the anxiety that I used to feel about going out alone or just getting out in general and feeling this weird sickness that I felt like jitters in my stomach and just really anxiety has left me. You know, it's been a complicated year, especially the last few months, but I've grown as a person, I'm very happy about that and I got out of my comfort zone and I will keep doing that. Sometimes it just gets too much and I just wanna 
go back into my cocoon and just be cozy and comfortable and not get out but I know I have to do that because you only live once and I really want to enjoy my life at its fullest so I'll keep pushing myself out of my comfort zone Chapter 5 The Uncertainty of My Future I have no idea what to do in my future I don't know whether to find like another job here in my hometown and still in the retail or do something more out of the box and go as an au pair in Europe or in the US which is something that I've always dreamed of but living in the US I mean but lately I've been kind of changing my mind about the US I'm quite scared of going a year away and not being able to come back no friends just I've really discovered <laughs> well not discovered I already knew and you would know too if you listen to my podcast this is our experience I talked a lot about how I deal with change and I don't do it really well especially at the beginning, the initial phase is really harsh on me I pretend that it's okay, that I'm settling but I'm actually not and then I have a huge mental breakdown and then I eventually maybe tend to accept the reality that things have changed but yeah, I don't deal with that very well and going to the US is a really really big step I'm not sure I'm gonna take that so maybe first I could do a few months here in Europe see if I actually like that and then choose from there or I should follow one of my passions here's the thing my passions change all the time and there's not one thing that sticks well I guess I could say YouTube sticks because I've been doing it for what four years maybe so yeah that's something that sticks but what exactly means that because I still haven't found my way of creativity like I miss being creative like being floated and by ideas being inspired I freaking miss that I do so I really want to get back into the root of inspiration but to do that you need to get out of your box do something different that inspires you so I'll try to do that more and I'll come back with videos that are not vlogs I know I need to get back to my roots and we'll talk about TV shows Formula One I'll try to bring you as much content as I can so to say that I don't know what to do lately like for the past few months especially this summer I've been living in the present so well thank you so much for watching this video I really miss talking to you guys like this please subscribe click the like button here and follow me on instagram at the set experience yt to know what i'm up to next because there's another video coming yeah another one of my dreams but this this is saucy this is cool this is something you wouldn't you wouldn't expect from me maybe just because you don't know me that much but i'll make sure you know me more well don't forget about me. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.